Hello everyone and welcome to what's in my travel bag for 2023. Now, if you wanna know what's in my camera bag, go to my photography channel somewhere up here because that video has just gone live. In this video though, we'll focus specifically on this, the travel bag, so things like clothes, travel accessories, those bits and bobs. Also, if you're new here, my name is Roman. I am a full-time travel photographer and YouTube internet making person, and I travel full time. This kit can cover pretty much most scenarios that most people will encounter. Also, this kit is designed mainly for longer term travel and not for hiking or backpacking as such. Let's first start with what I'm wearing. And basically at the moment, it's now what, early March, late February, I will be going to an airport traveling in a hoodie, in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. I will also have with me, I can't pronounce it, but Fjol Raven, I've pronounced it. It's not the most packable jacket, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make um, because it's so warm and it's so comfortable. So when I'm getting on a plane or anywhere, this is usually in my hand, it's not in the bag. However, there is still room in the bag to fit the jacket if you don't want to carry it around or if you don't intend on using it. Moving on to the bag, and it's a Peak Design 45 litre travel bag. So let's start with external pockets and I'll show you what I'm taking with me. On the front here, there's one front pocket like so. In here, I've got a pair of sunglasses. I have some earplugs. I've mentioned them in the other video, but great for airplanes, hotels, anything where it's a bit noisy. I've got a small little padlock just in case I do have to check it in or if I want to leave it somewhere that I'm not comfortable with. And finally is a Phoenix uh, torch. Again, I've mentioned it in the other video. Moving on to the uh, side pockets. On this side, I've got just got some wet wipes. And on this side, I have the Hero Clip. Again, I've mentioned this one in the other video, but it's worthwhile mentioning again. Effectively, if you don't want to have your bag sitting on the floor, you can just take this, hook it through the loop, and then you can hang it on, uh, that's quite heavy actually, <laughs> hang it on anything that you want. The front pocket is expandable. Um, so if I do want to add something else to it, like my Parker jacket, that can go in once expanded. However, at the moment, I'm keeping it in the compressed mode because I just don't need to expand it. So if I'll open it up, I'll move it to the side. So you've got some pockets on this side and obviously you've got your main pocket here. We'll start with the pockets there. So first thing I have is a Peak Design um, little tote, folding tote thing. Basically, it's a folding shopping bag, folding tote. It's great if you're going to the beach, you don't want to take your backpack with you, you just want to throw a few bits in there. Next is a little travel GSI coffee tea filter. The last accessory here in this pouch is a smart Apple Watch band. I currently have like one of these sporty Apple Watch bands. Sure, you can't really dress up an Apple Watch, but I'm not gonna be traveling with two watches. And if I'm going somewhere smart, I'd rather just put this on um, and keep the watch. Moving on, we have a spare change of clothes. So in my experience, I found that sometimes flights get delayed, you can get, you can get stuck overnight, you can spill something on your trousers, you can spill something on your shirt. If you're traveling, anything can happen. So to have one change of clothes that's easily accessible, in my opinion, is a worthwhile thing to do. So if I start on this side, I have got a just a spare t-shirt, spare pair of underwear, and a spare pair of socks. And here I'll have a spare pair of trousers and a spare jumper. Now, obviously if I'm traveling in predominantly hot countries, I'm sorry, hot climates, then I wouldn't have this. Instead I'll have probably a, a pair of shorts, a t-shirt, and maybe this hoodie that I'm wearing will sit in there. The pockets that you're left with here can also be accessed from the inside. However, we'll go from the outside because we are already here. So the first thing at the top is a um, beach towel. Basically, I use it to go to the beach and if I get to an Airbnb or somewhere and there's no towels or there's no clean towels, this comes in very handy. Okay, moving down, I have a buff. I'll get that in a minute. I'll have a buff. So this can be your sleeping mask, it can be your scarf, it can be a hat if you're really struggling for a hat. Really worthwhile thing. It weighs nothing, it's very thin, and honestly, it can make a big difference. You'll be surprised. The thing that fell out is just an international driving license, a hat, or cap, sorry, should I say. 
I guess if I'm going to a very, very cold climate, instead of a cap, I'll bring a woolly hat. I have a spare eSIM for my phone. I have a little notebook. I have 10 euros that I've just found, and I have a couple of passport photos. Again, just in case, you never know what you might uh, end up encountering. That's everything up there. Let's close this up and move into the main compartment. In the laptop compartment, we have a waterproof jacket. Obviously, there's no laptop in here because that's in my camera bag that I wear on the front. We'll pull that out. It's a Rab yellow influencer edition. <laughs> I'm joking. No, it's just a yellow Rab jacket. I wasn't sure about the yellow color, but everything I own is either green or black or some boring color. So I thought it'll be uh, interesting for once in my life. And um, get a yellow jacket. It's actually really, really good. I've used it in many downpours and yeah, really impressed. In the shoe pouch, so by the way, all the accessories inside, like the pouches, the cubes, the bags, it's all peak design. Whenever I get travel bags, all the accessories I try and get with the same brand because in my opinion, I found that they fit better within those bags. In here, I have a spare pair of trainers. So these are kind of smart-ish trainers. And then the trainers that I'll be wearing are more designed for longer walks and getting the miles in. Whereas these are designed more for just, I don't know, going out for dinner, I guess. Uh, and then I have a pair of flip-flops. Next up is the Peak Design 3 litre sling. I've talked about what's inside in detail on the photography channel. However, there are a couple of items which I didn't mention on the photography channel that we'll mention right now. The first one is a water filter. It's always worthwhile having. You can just screw this into the uh, water bottle that I travel with, and you can either put like a normal lid to close it, or you can put like one of those sports drinking lids. It doesn't really matter. This is designed for hiking, so yeah, I've never had any issues. Really, really good and worthwhile having. Next is a headband for the torch that I've mentioned earlier, uh, a first aid kit, Inside they'll have like the usual like plasters, bits and bobs, but mostly the stuff that I use in first aid kits is, you know, headache, diarrhea, allergic reaction, that kind of stuff. And everything else in here is obviously photo related, which is on the other channel. Same goes for this. This is my Peak Design tech pouch and all the tech stuff is in there, which you can see on the other channel. So I can put that down there. Then we have a toiletry kit. I try to be as minimal as possible when it comes to toiletries. There's a few things that I've definitely changed since starting traveling and I will explain them very quickly here. The first thing is deodorants. Before I used to use either these big roll-ons or sprays, but now I found it's a company called Fussy. I think it's a British company and they make these tiny, as you can see, solid deodorants. And yeah, I'm never going back to a normal deodorant. They're so small, one of these will last you a whole month. So I'll normally travel with two or three of them, depending on how long I go for. Next, I have these little um, little tabs, just Amazon special job. So in there, I'll have like a stuff for my hair, like moisturizer, just other moisturizer, toothbrush. I'll always have like a little uh, travel buddy uh, bag and inside is just a bit of soap, like a bar soap. So sometimes if I'll get to an Airbnb or whatever, there is no soap, this just gets me out in a pinch until the morning when I can go out and buy some soap. Same goes for this, another travel buddy bag. And in here is solid toothpaste. So it's basically like tablets that you chew and brush your teeth. Not the most fun experience, um, but it's definitely better than going to bed without brushing your teeth, at least until the morning when you can buy some toothpaste. And then I just got a spare travel buddy bag. So these bags are actually really cool because you can put something wet inside and then they can dry inside without actually going out. So if you have a leaky tub or whatever, it can go in there and that can fix the issue. Finally, I have this Arabian Oud from Dubai. I prefer Oud to traditional spray-on um, aftershave because look at the size of it. This will last me for three, four months. And last but not least is just like a Philips one blade shaver, um, some nail clippers, just basic things that you would need when you're traveling. And all we've now left with is clothes. So I have two Peak Design small packing cubes. The best thing about them is that they are compression packing cubes and they have a small little pocket around the back to put all your dirty stuff. I've just found a pair of socks I didn't know I had, but there we go. So the compression bit of it is the best because you can effectively take a cube which starts out like this and get it smaller. Therefore you can get more stuff in or you can get more space. So let's start with the first cube. 
And here I'll just have another smart jumper. So in terms of jumpers, I'll have two smart jumpers and one hoodie. Next is a pair of swimming slash gym shorts. And then we have two pairs of normal shorts. And then onto the next packing cube. So we have one smart button down shirt. Um, I then have seven pairs of socks, including the ones that I'm wearing. I found that seven is at the optimum in terms of not having to wash stuff every day, but also not carrying your entire wardrobe. Seven pairs of pants or boxes, including the ones I'm wearing, same reason. And finally, in total, I have five t-shirts. Of course, if I'm gonna be going to a predominantly hot climate, I would swap out one pair of trousers and one smart jumper and instead add another one or two t-shirts because obviously you'll be sweating more, so you'll be going for more t-shirts. But other than that, that's everything that I need. Anyway, I've definitely not waffled this much about pants and socks before, but there you go. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a like below. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to check out the photography side of all my gear if that's what you're interested in. It's on the other channel and also the link to my website with everything that you need there is also in the description but again if i've missed anything just ask below other than that that's everything thank you ever so much for watching um i'll see you next year i mean not actually i mean in one of these gear videos i'll do one every year but i'll see you in the next video the next video will probably be a lisbon travel guide so i'll see you there thank you for watching have a good week have a good weekend and i'll see you soon Bye. All right, again, crap everywhere. I hate the thing is when you make these gear videos or what's in my bag videos, your living room turns into a mess. <laughs>